Hi guys, I hope you are doing well. Welcome to my channel. In this clip, I want to show you how we can upload or download TXT files into the Google Drive in Unity. In the past, we have a, a, a tutorial about how we can connect Google Drive with Unity directly and we, how we can in, upload or download an image uh, from Google Drive in Unity. If you want to continue with this current system, first of all, I want to ask you to uh, watch this video. I will uh, share the link of this uh, video in the description and uh, you will understand how you can connect Google Drive, Google Drive account and other APIs to your Unity project and how, we, how you can uh, download or upload an image within Unity in Google Drive. Uh, but in this uh, video, I want to show you how we can upload and download a text file uh, in Google Drive in Unity. Okay, uh, in my scene here, let me open it up. Oh, I lost it. Unity Google Drive. Yeah, this guy, sorry. Okay. Yeah, and this scene, uh, in the previous tutorial, we had a simple scene, which is main camera and test uh, a script. In the test script, as you can see, uh, we have uh, two functions in here for uploading photo and downloading photo, but but these uh, functions are related to upload and download a text file. The difference between the previous uh, script with this one is uh, it has. Uh, using system.txt and using system.io for uh, up encoding and saving file as a text. Okay, first take a look at the upload text file. The difference between the previous one with uploading image or uploading text file is just the first line. As you can see, uh, in the past, I should I used image.encode.2png but here our bytes uh, came uh, comes from here encoding.ascii.getbytes in here in the inside the parentheses uh, you should put your uh, string uh, whenever you want to save as a text file for example I just write uh, wrote, uh, this is my test. You can write whatever you want. And uh, the next point is in here, uh, you should add the name of file with the format of your file. So you can say, okay, dot JSON, dot C sharp, dot text, dot whatever you want. So uh, with this mechanism, it's try to create a file inside your Google Drive, and if you don't have any error, you will see the print of this result will be false. Okay, this function will be called by uh, get button down u, get key down u. Okay, and the past I should come over here. This is empty. Okay, and now. I play the scene, okay, and I press button U, excellent, there is no error from my uh, uploading process and this is the uh, file ID of my text file. So take a look at uh, my Google Drive, look at this, it is abelfast.txt.txt, it is exactly I wrote here, abelfast txt.txt and the content has to be this is my test and look at this this is my test excellent 
Now uh, we should um, be able to download a txt file from Google Drive in Unity. So stop the scene and come back to the uh, C sharp. Here we have the text file uh, text files download. The, the file ID, as far as I mentioned in the previous tutorial, is this file. For example, we wanna download this file. This is ablefasttest.txt. It is different than this, and the content is just ablefasttest, okay? But we wanna get the file ID. We just say get link, and in here copy the link here. And okay, from this line until this guy between two of these slashes, uh, you can get the file ID. You just need to copy this part and paste into the this part uh, Google Drive files that download and paste. Look at this, this is the same. Uh, because I already tested and in here if you don't have any problem you get false for these errors okay after that you'll see this downloaded uh, content is ready to compile or ready to in uh, decode to anything you want you have the bytes whatever you want you can do I uh, will say okay just convert these guys these contents by encoding.ascii get a string these bytes can, can uh, will convert to the text the string and we will say okay let's save this file inside the our storage what uh, what is the address of our storage application.datapath you can say persistent path so it will be in a different place uh, the name of our file will be test and the format will be txt so you can say json or c sharp or whatever uh, just txt file and it checks if you don't have any object any file with this name okay delete it and here let's make it from scratch if we have we if we don't have any file with this name, we will say file dot append all text text saver. This is the address and the name, and this is the content, uh, the string which has been converted from bytes to a string, and is that one for the going to the next line, and we will call this function by pressing button D. Look at this. These are the same. Okay, let's come back to the scene and then play, play the scene. As you can see, we don't have any file which is called Applefast test here, but I here press button D. Okay, it is false, so it means it is good. There is no error. And I just make sure we have this guy. That's it. This is test test.txt file which contains Ablefast test. Excellent. Okay, I hope this tutorial will be helpful for you. Don't hesitate to ask any question related to Unity, AR, VR, and XR. Subscribe my channel and like this video if you like it. Have a great time. Bye bye.